Hello, welcome to Telugu in Academy. In today's AP Geography, we are going to discuss about like district profile of Karnool. So, what are the uh, geographical features, uh, climate, soil types, and uh, what is the um, uh, other uh, important tourist uh, destinations and important personalities about the Karnool district. So, now coming to Karnool district. So, uh, the name of the Karnool, actually it was the first capital of Andhra. It was the first capital of Andhra before, uh, once the Andhra was formed, it has been the first capital of Andhra Pradesh. So, let's get into the history of the Karnool district. Uh, the district derived its name. How now we'll see the like uh, how this nomenclature Karnul has been derived. The history or etymology we can say. The district derives its name from its chief town Karnul, the capital of former Nawabs, capital of Andhra Pradesh state, from 1st no October 1953 to 1st November 1956. It was capital of Andhra Pradesh, even. Before that, it was capital of Nawabs. So once it became, once Andhra has been carved out of, uh, from Madras Presidency or Tamil Nadu. So, Karnul has become the first capital uh, for three years. That, that is from October 1st, 1953 to 1st number 1956. And it present the headquarters of the district. Karnul is the headquarters of the Karnul district also. The name, how this name Karnul has been derived. Karnul is also called as a gateway to Royal Seema. Means, uh, whoever wants to enter this, the region Royal Seema, this is the gateway to Royal Seema. The name Karnul is said to have been derived from Kandana Olu. So, actually, Kandana Olu in the sense, uh, the people who used to travel Tungabhadra river, no, they used to travel Tungabhadra river uh, in, in the uh, past times, in the olden days. So, they used to come in the carts, no, bullock carts. For this bullock carts, uh, like there was, there used to be a cartridge between the wheels. Suppose this is the bullock cart. Here lies a cartridge. You know, uh, it is filled with grease for the easy momentum of the wheel. So, they uh, once they used to cross the Karnul through this uh, Tungabhadra river, they used to cross the Tungabhadra river, they used to grease this place. They used to grease this place. Kand Kandana means, Kandana means grease. Kandana ante Telugu lo no grease in mata, ante chamur in mata. So, when they used to cross this uh, Tungabhadra river, they used to grease this spray place. Because of this greasing, so kar, the Kanul has derived its old name as Kandana Volu, means greased place or something like that. In time, uh, as time passed, this Kandana Volu has been changed into Karnul. The present name of this district is Karnul. And the headquarters of the Karnul is also Karnul. Karnul district lies between the northern latitudes of 14 degrees 54 minutes and 16 degrees 18 minutes and least in longitudes of 76 degrees 58 minutes and 79 degrees 34 minutes. The altitude of district varies from 100 feet above the mean sea level. So, these are the coordinates of the Karnul district. These are the coordinates of the Karnul district. And the altitude of district varies from 100 feet above the mean sea level. So, what are the boundaries of this district? So, this is bounded with, uh, uh, obviously it is a landlocked district. It is not a coastal district because we have four landlocked districts or Royal Sima districts. Uh, even Karnul also comes under this Royal Sima district. That is a landlocked district. That's the reason it is called as gateway to Royal Seema. So, uh, it has been uh, like, bo like uh, bounded by or uh, bordered by what are the borders of the, this district. North is the Tungabhadra river. North is the Tungabhadra river and Krishna rivers. So, Tungabhadra are two rivers. Their uh, origin is from Western Ghats. Once they reach uh, like Sangam, the Sangam place near Karnul, they are called as Tunga Bhadra collectively. The confluence of Tunga, uh, Tunga 
the confluence of Tunga and Badra, the confluence of Tunga Badra at a place called Sangam. They are uh, the together. They become a one single river. They are called as Tunga Badra River. So northern boundary, uh, northern side, it is bounded or bordered by Tunga Badra River and Krishna Rivers, and as well as Mahabub Nagar district of Telangana state. So northern boundary of the Kanuri is Tunga Badra, the two uh, water bodies, river streams, and the land, other uh, land parties. That is Mahabub Nagar district of. Uh, our Telangana, Mahbub Nagar district of Telangana state. South by southern boundary is Kadapa and Anantapur districts. Southern boundary is west, west. so northern is a river stream and Mahbub Nagar. Southern is by Kadapa and Anantapur. Next, west by Bellary of Karnataka, east by Prakasam. So, Karnul is a district which borders with two states. That is, one is Telangana, another one is Karnataka. Karnataka is Bellary district and Telangana Mahbubnagar district. The others is like Krishna and Tungabhadra river and another one is Prakasam district of our own Andhra Pradesh. So, uh, what is the physiography? Means what kind of uh, uh, landforms uh, we can see in this uh, particular district of Karnol. So physiography of the Karnol district. One is like Nallamalas and Eramalas are the two important mountain ranges in the district running in parallel from north to south. It has two uh, mountain ranges that is Nallamalas and Eramalas which run parallel. Means in a uh, like straight path from north to south in this district. The Aramalas divide the district into two well defined tracts from east to west. As we have seen that, if suppose this is a district, Aramalas divide district into two equal parts. This is eastern part of Karnul, this is the western part of Karnul. Between Aramalas and Nelamalas lies the eastern part of the district comprises Nandikotkur, Pagdiala, Kottapalli, Pamulapadu, Atmakur, Velgodu, J Bangla, Medtur, Bandi Atmakur, Gadi Vemula, Nandial, Mahanandi, Panyam, Banganpalli, Auk, Koila Kuntla, Rudravaram, and Chagal Marri Mandals. So these all regions, these all places, particularly lies in between uh, like eastern part. Between Aramalas and Nalamalas, it is in the eastern part of the Kandul district. This tract is caused by the crest of Krishna and Pennar watersheds at the northern part of the Pagidial Mandal at about 1000 uh, meters above the sea level. 1000 meters above the sea level. Uh, what does uh, it mean to say that this tract, whatever the tract we have mentioned here earlier, is crossed by the Krishna and Pennar, that is a Pennar or Pennar river, we can see in the both ways. Krishna and Pennar, these are the watersheds. Watershed means uh, the area which has been drained by these two, like any river, that is called as a watershed. Northern part of the Pakidial Mandal at about 1000 meters above sea level. In spite of uh, it is in the high altitude, but it, it seems to be the watershed of Krishna and in the Penna River. So, from this height, the ground slopes to the south along the river Kundu till it transverse, traverses into Pennar Valley. Major part of its tract is predominantly black cotton soil. So, what is uh, from like 1000 meters above means it's a highly elevated area. From this height, from this mean sea level height, the ground slopes to the south. Here what happens, no? The ground, uh, this is north, let's say, this is south, this is east and this is west. So here, the ground slopes to the south with a small, along with the river Kundu. Kundu is a small stream. It's not a very big river like uh, Krishna or Pennar, like any other rivers. It's a local river, Kundu, a small stream. 
so here the uh, river uh, like uh, um, physiography or the landmass is sloped towards the south along with the river kundu it means that kundu river kundu also flows in this direction towards the south of the south of the this district so uh, this tract majorly this tract is predominantly black cotton soil so uh, the soil type here is black cotton soil which is conducive or favorable for uh, growing cotton growing cotton practicing ag cotton agriculture the western tract that is this is the uh, like we are talking about this is the eastern part which slopes into the southern uh, southern side of the hills and now coming to the western part of the uh, this tract the western part comprises pattikonda tuggali maddikera devan devankonda uh, gone gandla dhon uh, peepalli veldurthi बेत बेतमचर्ला कृष्णगिरी कर्नूल ओरवकल कल्लूर कोडमूर सी बेलगाल गूडूर यमिनगरनारु नंदवरम मंत्रालयम आदोनी पेद्द कडबूर कोसिगी कोवतलम आलूर अस्पारी होलगुंडा हलहरवी चिप्पगिरी मंडल्स सो दीज आर दी वेस्टर्न रीजन्स लाइंग इन दी वेस्टर्न ट्रैक्ट ऑफ दी कर्नूल and the other one are the regions lying in the eastern tract here these are amala hills and this divide the kannur district into exactly wholesomely two parts that is two halves one is the western half other one is the eastern half so the regions are the uh, western kannur the comes under the western kannur regions so the terrain here again coming to the terrain in the eastern uh, uh, half the terrain sloped into a uh, slow a uh, slope uh, like it has a slope towards the south now coming to the terrain in the western part the terrain here slopes from south to north other one is exactly different it slopes from north to south here it slopes from south to again north so and it is drained by the river hundri hundri which joins the river tungabhadra at karnool so uh in the western half of the karnool uh like the elevation the altitude which is present it is sloping towards the north again which is drained by the river hundri again this hundri joins tungabhadra exactly which place at karnool the soils in the northwestern transverse pa uh, parts by the river hundri are black cotton while the southeastern parts are predominantly pure red soils so in this part in this western tract uh, the soils in the north western transverse parts the soils in the north western parts are uh, predominantly black cotton soils and the soil in the south eastern parts are uh, like pure red soils means it has two kinds of soils karnool district has two kinds of soil one is black cotton soil other one is pure red soils yaranelalu inka nalla regadu mattilu so that is a physiography uh, it has two oh, hill ranges one is nallamalas and eramalas cotton type that is uh, both it has uh, black cotton soils and red soils uh, and the rivers drained by in this karnool district are tungabhadra uh, hundri and another one is uh, kundu these are all the small uh, streams of karnool apart from tungabhadra and krishna next coming to the climate what type of climate it has so rail sima it is a part of karnool is a district is a part of rail sima uh, hopefully it has this uh, dry climate as rail sima has a dry most of the predominantly dry climate so the climate of the district is normally good and healthy Jan, Feb, and March months are usually pleasant with moderate winds from southeast. So it it has a healthy and normal climate. But in the months of Jan, Jan, Feb, and March, it has a very pleasant climate. If you want to visit this district for any tourism purpose, so Jan, Feb, and March are the months with the good climate. We can visit in this pleasant climate months. with moderate winds that to winds from which part of the uh, which winds south east winds 
साउथ ईस्ट विंस मेक दिस थ्री मंथ्स प्लेजेंट सो अप्रैल मे और दी हॉटेस्ट मंथ्स ऑफ द ईयर ड्यूरिंग दिस मंथ्स द विंड शिफ्ट्स टू साउथ वेस्ट विद इंक्रीज्ड फोर्स एंड ब्रिंग्स वेलकम शावर्स बाय द एंड ऑफ मे सो हियर विल गेट टू सी अप्रैल इन मे इन द मंथ्स ऑफ अप्रैल इन मे द समर्स आर वेरी हॉट लाइक इमेजिन लाइक इट्स अ हॉटेस्ट सी मंथ ऑफ मंथ्स ऑफ दिस डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन द थ्रू आउट द ईयर इन द होल ईयर ड्यूरिंग दिस मंथ द विंड सो इन इन जैन फेब एंड मार्च द विंड्स आर शिफ्टेड फ्रॉम लाइक विंड्स आर कमिंग फ्रॉम साउथ ईस्ट बट इन मंथ्स ऑफ अप्रैल एंड मे विंड्स विल कम फ्रॉम साउथ वेस्ट दिज आर द हॉटेस्ट विंड्स विथ टू इंक्रीज फोर्स इंक्रीज फोर्स and bring and brings welcome showers by the end of may we can say a welcome showers or mango showers also but the hottest months of uh, this district are april and may during the succeeding four months the wind blows from western side in the major parts of the district and brings fair quantum of rainfall by the end of the september the wind is light and pleasant for casting the onset of the northeast monsoon so after may after the uh, may that is i can say june that is the onset of the uh, monsoon that is the onset of the monsoon so after this four months wind starts blowing from the western side major part of the district bring, uh, of the district and brings fair quantum of rainfall that is the uh, onset of the monsoon that is a southwest monsoon which rains all, almost all over the india by the end of the september the wind is light up map again after this southwest monsoon is over uh, by the time of september the wind is light and up and pleasant forecasting the onset of northeast again it's again the sign that northeast monsoons are coming so retreat of monsoon also they uh, enjoy the climate will be good in the southwest monsoon also they have heavy rainfalls again in november and december the weather is fine or in november december we can say the weather is fine and pleasant rainfall is rare and wind is light with occurrence of heavy dew district's normal rainfall of the year is 670.3 mm the average rainfall is so that was the climate overall climate of the uh, district kanul district and uh, the uh, from which uh, monsoons or which uh, uh, winds it receives its rainfall so now we're coming to the drainage system which rivers do drain this district the major or principal rivers the main or uh, major rivers which drain this district the principal rivers flowing in the district are the tungabhadra and its tributary is hundri we have seen that tungabhadra uh, like hundri joins tungabhadra at uh, like in karnool itself so it come it it comes from which direction it comes from the western part of the uh, eramala analamala ma, uh, re, mountain regions the krishna and the kunderu kunderu from the eastern part it drains the eastern part so it has four uh, major uh, Uh, river systems which drain this district they are one is tungabhadra karnool itself in the banks of tungabhadra karnool city itself is in the banks of tungabhadra next one is hundri the other one is kunderu the tungabhadra rises in the western ghats and after forming a part of northern boundary for some distance separates karnool from the telangana area flow in an eastern direction receives hundri and falls into the krishna river at kudali sangam after winding northwards so the tungabhadra rises in the western ghats and after forming we know that tungabhadra is an west uh, western ghat river uh, it originated in uh, karnataka tunga and bhadra next forming the northern boundary it makes the northern boundary between andhra and uh, karnool and telangana that is it uh, like divides telangana and andhra uh, especially alampur and karnool 
सो तुंगभद्र डिवाइड्स अलमपुर एंड कर्नूल सपरेट्स कर्नूल फ्रॉम द तेलंगाना एरिया फ्लोन इन एन ईस्टर्न डायरेक्शन रिसीव्स हुंद्री एंड फॉल्स इनटू द कृष्णा रिवर एट कुडाली संगम आफ्टर वाइंडिंग नॉर्दर्न वर्ड्स अ हुंद्री अ ट्रिब्यूटरी ऑफ तुंगभद्र राइजेस इन द फील्ड्स ऑफ मद्दिकेरा इन मद्दिकेरा मंडल्स रिसीव्स अ स्ट्रीम फ्रॉम एरमलास एट लद्दगिरी इन कोडमूर मंडल्स इन जॉइंट्स तुंगभद्र एट कर्नूल वी ऑलरेडी सीन दैट हुंद्री Hundri is originated in uh, what uh, Eramala Hills. In which hills? Eramala ranges. So in the fields of Madikera, Madikera, uh, and uh, receives a stream from Eramala at Ladigiri. Again, it receives a small stream in Ladigiri in um, Eramala Hills, and joins Tungabhadra in and joins Tungabhadra in Karnal. It drains much of Madikera, Pattikonda. देवनकोड गोनीगंडल एंड कोडमूर एंड कलूर मंडल सो इट ड्रेन हुंद्री ड्रेन आल दीज रीजन पर्टिक्युर्ली आल दीज रीजन दिस इज ट्रोर बर्ड स्ट्रीम्स विद सडन रईज एंड फॉल दी स्ट्रीम्स आर नॉट सो कंटिन्यूस सो इफ देर इज हेवी रेनफॉल सो द वॉल्यूम एंड वाटर द वॉल्यूम ऑफ दिस स्ट्रीम रईज वेन इट्स ड्राई सीजन और समर सीजन the stream drains so it is dried up so these streams are turbid turbid streams that means that there is a sudden uh, like flow in the river, uh, river or stream or sudden rise and fall in the streams the kundiru also called uh, kumudavati which rises on the western side of the erramala winds its way into kundiru valley and flows in a sudden direction southern direction um, collecting drainage all along its course from either side so again kundari is also uh, it is also a western side of eramala it is originated in western side of eramala it is also called as kundumati it drains all the kunderu valley which valley uh, on the because of this region's name only this river has been uh, named as kundubat kunderu or because of it drains kunderu valley kundumati or kundumati or kunderu uh, river so it brings all the it collects all the debris all the drainage mean whatever it's there in between it collects all the drainage and all along its course from either side it flows through which parts or which uh, regions it flows through it flows through orvakal mirtur गड़ी गड़वेमुल नंद्या गोसपाड़ कोईलकुंट डोर्नीपा एंड चागलमरी मंडल एंड देर एंटर्स कड़प डिस्ट्रिक्ट आफ्टर फ्लोइंग थ्रू ऑल दिस रीजन आफ्टर फ्लोइंग थ्रू ऑल दिस रीजन ऑफ कर्नूल दिस कुंदेर रिवर एंटर्स द डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ कड़प इट लीव्स कर्नूल एंड एंटर्स कड़प सो दीज आर दि drainage systems or drainage uh, patterns types of uh, rivers which flow in karnool district the major ones are tungabhadra and other one is uh, like small uh, hunde uh, hanri and uh, kunderu which hanri joins tungabhadra in karnool but kunderu uh, travels into kadappa district so again tungabhadra joins krishna river and flows into the bay of bengal so that was the drainage pattern of the uh, karnool district now coming to flora and fauna so what type of uh, species plant species and animal species are found in the district so the forestic composition of the district stands in direct relation to that of the climate and anaphic conditions and the biotic influence in various location so depending upon the climate we get to see plant species or animal species climate is the most important factor uh, for any region uh, for the flora and fauna of that particular region so broadly speaking uh, if we say like the eastern portion of the district bears better vegetation so eastern as we know that kannur district divided divided into two exactly halves equal halves because of 
because of Nallamala and Aramala hill mountain ranges, they run parallelly from north to south. Left one is the uh, uh, eastern part of the Kanul district and right one is the western part of the Kanul district. So, if we uh, speak about the flora and fauna, eastern part has the much of the vegetation. Eastern part has the better vegetation. While the western of especially the northwestern portion comprising of Adoni, Pedda, Koduru, Alur, Aspari, uh, Chippagiri, Halaharvi, Hogalgunda, Koilkuntla and uh, Sanjamala, Oak, Pattikonda, Devankonda and Krishnagiri, Valdurti, Kolmur and Kalur Mandals uh, presents a de uh, desolate appearance and the vegetation that exists is confined mostly to small pockets of reserve forest. These parts, especially these parts of uh, uh, western region, these parts of the western region hardly has uh, vegetation. Means you will get to see all dry dry areas. Dry dry areas with small small pockets of forest. Means you will uh, only forest you'll, are only here and there. It's not a continuous stretch of vegetation in this parts or these regions of the Kanul district. So, the total area under forest is 3,40,669 hectares. So, it's a total area 3,44,669 hectares. Accounting for about 19% of a total geographical area of the district. How much the green cap of this district? What is the total green cap of forest cover of the district is 19%. 19% is the green cap of this district. The major parts of the forest area is confined mainly to Nallamalas, including its extensions. Yeah, Nallamalas. The uh, if in this 19%, the major part uh, major part is Nallamalas, the Aramalas, and the part of Veligondas. Veligondas are we have, what you have seen uh, from the uh, Prakasham district. So. Major part of this green cover includes Nallamalas and Eramalas and the small parts of Veligonda for ranges also. The forest covering the Eramalas and Veligondas are of an interior type like bamboos with timber, special, timber species occur fairly or extensive areas in the district. So, the forest covering uh, Eramalas and Veligondas are typically of bamboo types, bamboo and timber varieties with an extensive area covering this district. Next, uh, we will get to see even tamarind and beery leaves also. So, tamarind means chinta, chinta chetla and mata, chinta chetlu. And beery leaves, chutta antar kada, beery chutta kada, illa beery taakutar kada, aa leaves and mata. Inta inta vedalpuga onta hai vi, inta vedalpuga ni inta lengthwise onta hai. So, or the important minor forest produce of the district. Apart from bamboo and timber varieties, even they do have tamarind and BD. Uh, BDs are the minor varieties of this district, forest varieties of the district. Th that is the flora of Karnul district. Now coming to the wild animals. So, uh, fauna. So, what type of uh, species? Is? Bird species or uh, other animal species are to be seen in this Karnul district. So, wild animals are found in plenty in Nallamalas and Aramalas hills which afford an ideal abide for wildlife, tiger, panthers, bears, jackals, hyenas, uh, wild bears, foxes, spotted deer, sambars, black bugs, nilgais, wild sheep etc. are found in these forests. Nallamalas are home for so many wild animals, especially tigers. Wild tigers are seen in Nallamalas. Uh, if we like, if anybody have been to Sri Asylum uh, Temple, so on the way to the Sri Asylum, there's a Sri Asylum Reserve Forest. In that, like, if you travel in the night times, if uh, like they don't allow us to travel in the nights, but 
in the early night times if you buy any chance if you get to travel in the early uh, nights so you'll get to see tigers crossing the roads tiger crossing the roads so nallamalas are home for so many wild animals not only tigers you'll get to see hyenas fox even other animals also so they are the plenty of uh, wild animals like panthers bears jackals hyenas spotted deer even sambars duppul anmad sambars next black buck black buck uh, which is an uh, endangered species in india so black buck hunting or black buck uh, killing is an crime next neel guys neel guys uh, wild sheep etc are found in this forest in order to preserve the wild animals forest of the northern part of nallamallas covering an area of 646.815 hectares has been brought under the nagarjun sagar sri sailam wildlife sanctuary so so to uh, protect these uh, uh, forest what we are done is so northern part which part especially northern part of nallamallas because northern part of nallamallas are thick jungles they are the thick dense forest so nagarjun sagar sri sailam wildlife sanctuary has been constructed has been bought made this area has bought under a sanctuary sanctuary got its own set of rules again regulations so we'll not talk about we'll not discuss about this here so patridges peacocks red jungle fowl green pigeon quails are the chief game birds found in the forest even there are so many bird species uh, in this uh, nallamallas like patridges peacocks peahens uh, and next coming to red jungle fowl green pigeon quails are the like mostly seen these are the bird species which are mostly seen in this uh, northern part of the nallamallas so next apart from this we do have this great indian bustard uh, that we call uh, in telugu we call it as batta meka it's a great indian bustard it's a kind of a big uh, bird in the size of ostrich or peahen అంటే నెమ్మలి కానీ ఆస్ట్రిచ్ లాగా ఉంటుంది అనమాట ఎగర లేదు అది అంత ఫుల్గా నార్మల్ ఎనీ లైక్ అదర్ బర్డ్ లాగా సో గ్రేట్ ఇండియన్ బస్టర్డ్ అండ్ ఎండేంజర్డ్ బర్డ్ స్పీషీస్ ఇస్ ఫౌండ్ ఇన్ నియర్ రోళ్లపాడు విలేజ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఫౌండ్ పర్టికులర్ ఇన్ ఎ విలేజ్ కాల్ రోళ్లపాడు సో ఆఫ్ మిడ్తూరు మండల్ అండ్ అన్ ఏరియా ఆఫ్ అబౌట్ సిక్స్టీన్ హండ్రెడ్ హెక్టర్స్ అరౌండ్ రోళ్లపాడు విలేజ్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ డిక్లేర్డ్ యాజ్ ప్రొటెక్టెడ్ ఏరియా ఫర్ propagation of the species so great indian bustard dani manu telugu lo ni batta meka anta anamata meka anta adi meka kaadu oka bird adi so it is found particularly in a rolapadu village so around that uh, village they made a protected area to propagate this species because it is a most endangered species of it, species variety bird variety so this is the these are the wildlife uh, um, uh, like fauna of kanul district now coming to the another uh, uh, great importance of this uh, nallamala hills in kanul district that is in the year 1983 when project tiger when project tiger was started to protect uh, to protect tigers to save tigers if we don't save tigers now they also become endangered species like yeah uh, like we'll be remaining or uh, with the memories of the only tigers so we'll get nothing to see a real tiger in the, at least in the zoo or in the live forest or safaris so tiger project has been started near sri sailam covering 3568 km square kilometers of nallamallas forest with 64 tigers and 74 panther population as per 2003 census so uh, 19 uh, according to like 1983 tiger uh, project even nallamala in nallamala sri nallamala forest of the sri sail we have started a tiger project with how many tigers 64 tigers and 78 panthers to protect 
tigers or preserve this species so that is the fauna that is a wildlife uh, uh, of this kannur district particularly nalamala coming to the forest of nalamalas that to northern nalamalas now coming to the land and land usage uh, the total geographical area of the district is 17.658 lakh hectares this is the total land of this uh, kannur district thank you have a nice day